something new, or if they did something well, or my sister Kathy has beautiful green eyes and red hair, and when my mother would do her hair, it would just look so fabulous, and my mother would say, tell your sister she looks pretty. I got so used to that, and she would say the same to me, that if nobody else thought we were cute, we thought we were cute to each other, but that helped us have a close relationship, and we always took care of each other. We always looked out for each other. When it was time for me to move, you know, when we were moving into different houses or, or different apartments or when we finally bought a house, when I said, oh, we're moving, I knew all of my brothers and sisters were going to be there because that's how we did. So those things that she taught us were really important. She also taught us to share whatever you know and whatever you have. Sometimes people have a skill set and they make it a secret. It's okay if you have a secret family recipe. I mean, you're not Colonel Sanders, but it's okay if you have that. But but, it's, but share with people, if they want to know, well, how did you learn how to do that? Or how did you get so good at that? It's okay to share. Unless you're sharing the secret sauce for McDonald's, it's okay to share to help somebody else out. So that's another thing she taught us. Another thing she would say is learn to be happy for people. I run into people all the time and I'm like, oh my goodness, I see that you're going to do this. Are you happy? And they go, well, I'll be happy once this happens and that happens and this happens. But you have to, first of all, learn how to be happy for little teeny things. That people, sometimes we get so stressed up and, about, and we're so caught up about what we're not happy about. This thing is happening and that thing is happening. And oh my goodness, I lost a $100 bill. And my thought is, you had a $100 bill? <laughs> so, but, so learn to be happy for yourself, but be happy for other people. When you see something good that happened for them, be excited. If you can be excited for other people, it feels like a party all the time because you get extra joy because you're happy because this grew or she got that or she was recognized for this or she looks stunning in that particular outfit that I would never be able to wear even in my best dream. So if you're able to do that, those are things my mom taught us and my dad taught us. If you're able to do that, it gives you a different spin on life. Another thing our parents taught us is to accord people respect. And that's a tough thing because sometimes people aren't respectful. They don't look respectful, they don't act respectful. My mother used to say, that's not your call to make. So we had relatives that, and their best friend was Jim Beam and Jack Daniels and John Walker. And it didn't matter if they were soft most of the time. We would refer to them, if they were close enough, we'd call them aunt or uncle, whether we were related or not, or Mr. and Mickey. We never got to say Willie the Wino or, you know, Willie the Drunk. You just did, it wasn't your place. And so that, also taught, that always taught me to respect people, what they do, who they are. I don't know their story, and it's really not my business. Another thing is, my mother always taught us, ask for what you want, but ask nicely. Because I hear people all the time, I demand. You can demand if you want. It doesn't work. All you make is animosity. Now, you can require. My mother, like some people say, I demand respect. That's the number one way you're never going to get respect. If you require it. So I can't demand it from you. I can't. You're going to respect me. You instantly don't respect me when I say that. But what you do is now you've built up this feeling about me. But if you require respect, it's like, okay. I can't demand it from you, but if you want me to act this way, or if you want this particular thing from me, then this is what I require. People are, they don't mind matching requirements, but we get tired of being demanded on. Unless you're the IRS, really, it just doesn't work. And then my mother also taught us to ask the right person and know who that right person is. Or if you don't know, find out. And that's important because sometimes you'll ask somebody and they'll tell you no, and you think that's the end of the story, and you think that's all there is. Well, it isn't. If you don't ask the right person, then maybe you've asked somebody that doesn't even have the authority to get you, you know, like the phone tool operator has some authority, but he does not have all the authority that you're going to need. So ask nicely and ask the right person. So all that brings me down to 